great pleasure for you, for me to have you here so numerous, and I know what you're waiting for, and I'm going to call in. Please welcome. Normally, kids are poor. I was in Irish brother school. 
uh, very Christian, very strict, very English speaking. So Hindi was not my strongest point. And then my mom said, I'll take you to a movie hall to watch a film if you get 10 on 10 in Hindi dictation. Uh, I've never said this, but I'll come in. I think one answer I copied from a friend, <laughs> but I did get 10 on 10. And then my mother took me to watch a film in a theater, first time. And strangely and coincidentally, it's a film called Joshi Le, which was of the director, with whom I did maximum number of my films later on in my life. So life is connected, Mr. Yash Chopra. It was his film, Joshi Le. And strangely, I'm sitting here in Locarno, Switzerland, because of him, because of that movie I saw. And uh, then my parents died, and I, um, I wanted to just leave the city, do something. I was doing my masters in mass communication and filmmaking. I wanted to be a film director. Uh, I came to Mumbai, I thought I'd get some roles. Then I thought I'd work in front of, and then television came into India, so I got little bits and pieces roles. Um, and then one thing led to the other. I came to Mumbai for a year in 1990, and I said I'll work for a year, earn one lakh rupee, buy myself a house, and then go back and become a scientist or a mass communication journalist. Um, I haven't gone back yet. Sorry. <laughs> we wish you that you never will. So, but you weren't always the hero. So you started, you also played villains. So how did this switch happen? What clicked inside of you? So when I came to Mumbai, I, I, I was quite, I, th I thought I was very old. I was, I think, 25, 26. I started late compared to what people start in films now. Um, I started at the age of 26, and most of the films being made at that time were about college love stories. So I found it strange to be sitting on a desk in a chair and behaving I'm in college. I found it awkward. Uh, but I didn't find it awkward enough that when I became 32, I did the same thing in Kuch Kuch Hoda. So, uh, I went to meet a director who called me, a very famous director. I won't take his name now. I mean, he wouldn't mind either, but I wouldn't take his name. And he said, you know, the most attractive part of you is that you're very ugly. And, uh, you know, because all these heroes, uh, they, 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 they look really Swiss chocolate-like. I think look like Swiss chocolate. So I said, OK, if I'm ugly, I'll do bad guy roles. So I did bad guy roles. And one of the bad films, bad guy roles I did uh, was in Switzerland. It was a film called Da. Uh, so that's for everyone who's seen it. I love you. <laughs> so I came here. And I think being in Switzerland and uh, drinking your milk, I became chocolatey. Because as soon as, while I was finishing that, I remember Mr. Yash Chopra telling me that I want to cast you in a love story. Uh, you don't look such a bad guy. And he made uh, DDLJ with me. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so then one thing led to the other, then I became the good guy. And now I'm the good guy sometimes, the bad guy sometimes, or a mix of both the guys sometimes. Biggest superstar in the world! Yeah! <laughs>